the internet and welcome to an unscripted top 10. Dun dun dun! Now you're probably wondering what an unscripted top 10 is. It is where I do not script it. All I do is get the top 10 things and put some stuff on the screen. There won't be much editing in these. It just means for all you people that like top 10s, I can put these out like in a day, pretty much. Uh, or two if I'm busy, but also um, tell me how, of the quality of the microphone because I have a new mic coming. This is uh, one that I just found around. Uh, it should sound like my first mic because this is actually just the same as my first mic, but another one. I thought it didn't work, but we got it working. So yeah, guys, let's talk about the topic at hand. Pokemon Generation 6. X and Y. And maybe Z. Or maybe X and Y squared later. Seriously, I have not seen that enough on the internet, X and Y squared. That would be cool. But still. Uh, what do I think about the game so f uh, of what we've seen so far? They look so much fun. They look like a blast to play. Th full 3D. Character customizations, battle, battle, no more sprites, full 3D. And, oh my god, it looks so amazing. I have already ordered the game. I've, uh, if you guys were wondering, I got the Y version because Dragon beats Deer in fight. So, yeah, also, if you, uh, this is going to be a Pokemon video, but if you don't like Pokemon, there's a link in the description if you don't like Pokemon. But on with the topic at hand. This is top 10 Mega Revolutions I want to see. What is a Mega Revolution? All you Gen 1ers, people that haven't been keeping up with the news, and non Pokemon fans that didn't click the link are asking. Well, um, Mega Revolutions is where you have a Pokemon like Ampharos or Blaziken, let's take Blaziken for example, in a fight. And at any point when it's holding a special item, uh, you can sum, uh, you can evolve it in the battle into a mega evolve form, which is more powerful, better stats, new ability, different design. It it's a very very cool idea, and so far they look really fun. Um, yeah, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do top ten. Um, ones I want to see. Um, two rules. One, um, no starters. Why? All starters are pretty much confirmed by now. Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, and Torchic have all been confirmed. And I can understand it not being all of them if it was just Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. But adding random Torchic in there, yeah, it's going to be all the starters. And rule two, no legendaries. Why well, no legendaries? I don't like the idea of legendaries having mega forms. Seriously, it's just like ah, uh, it's just like Mewtwo getting like two mega forms. In it's just like I am a super cool, very powerful psychic type. Mega evolve in Y. I am a super cool mega evolve, mega evolved, even more powerful psychic type. Mega evolve. In and if he mega evolves in X, he's a psychic fighting type. It's just like pfft. Game Freak, stop making your legendary so powerful. Also, if you heard that, um, just adjusting the mic, it's just like it doesn't make any sense to me. But Game Freak, do what you want. I'm still gonna use Mewtwo if you get them in the game. And two separate little things. One. There are going to be only two from each generation. Why? To keep the list varied. Mainly because most of this list will be from Gen 5, because I think they, those ones need a few more Mega Evolutions. So, yeah. Two from each uh, generation. And, and two. This is in no particular order. It's li because it's on the only order is in the pictures that I put in the folder where I'm getting this all from. It's the order of that. That's it. There's no kind of fate, at least wanted to wanted. They're all I want. If even if one of them get in, even if number ten gets in, super happy. If number one gets in, I'm gonna be as happy as if number ten gets in. So, yeah, guys, 
I'll see you in the when it starts in three, two, one. Number ten. Number ten is wheezing. You're probably wondering why wheezing's on this list. Um, well, I think it's a Pokemon with a lot of potential. It's never really not many people like it. Even Gen Oneers always uh, put it near the bottom, right down there with Muck. And I'm not going to put Muck on the list just because it's Muck. But I think Weezing has a lot of potential. It's um a very fun looking Pokemon, and it's just a, quite a fun concept, like um a poisonous ball floating in the air. I know you're probably wondering what would the Mega Evolution be? Would it be another ball on it? That's what Game Freak will probably do, yes, but I'm hoping not. Maybe like just one humongous ball or make them square like the Rotom, uh, not the Rotom, like the... Um, there was um, a concept art for Electro, uh, there was some concept art for Electrode's uh, Mega Design, it was literally a cube version of it. Um, looked really weird, but... Um, could do that, but personally I think they're probably going to go with the route of make, putting another head on it if they do. But yeah, I've used Weezing before. I remember he was on my first team ever, Weezing. Um, because my first game ever was, uh, my first Pokemon game and my first game was, uh, Fire Red, uh, uh, Fire Red, and I remember putting Weezing on my team. So, yeah, uh, I think Weezing has a lot of potential and I think people should, um, I think it's a good idea for a Mega Evolution, that's about it. So yeah, number nine time. Number nine! Number nine is Wolren. Wol Wolren? I never knew how to pronounce his name, but I'm going to call him Wolren. Why am I putting Wolren on here? Um, Because he's a seal. And he comes from, and his first evolution is from Spiel, one of the cutest Pokemon ever. Seriously, Spiel, up there with Mew, and yeah, so adorable. But still, uh, I'm gonna call him Sp Sp well, I'm gonna call him Beardy Tuskman because I really can't pronounce his name. He um again, like Weezing, has a lot of potential. His stats are really good, and I think it's very overlooked for Gen 3 Pokemon. I think the whole ice type in itself is quite overlooked with some really good types. Um, personally, I didn't use him on my first, uh, on one, on my, um, uh, yet, but my next playthrough I'm going to seek out a Spiel, my next play uh, playthrough of Ruby, I'm going to seek out a Spiel and give him a go. I've looked it up, he's a very good, uh, Pokemon, he has the great stats. Ice isn't a perfect type, but yeah. Plus, I just want to seal back, uh, see Seal, Sveal, and his evolutions back into the limelight. So, yeah, um, I think that's about it for Beardy Tuskman. Uh, he has some really good stats, and I want to see him back into the light because I didn't think he got enough recognition in Generation 3. Number eight. Number eight is Donfam, a fan favorite Pokemon. This needs an evolution or a Mega Evolution. I'm putting on this because I think a Mega Evolution would do better with Donfam, but personally, I'll be happy either way. This guy has a really cool concept, being a Pokemon that's main attack is rolling. He can, he's almost an armadillo, he can roll up into a ball and char and like roll really fast at people, like a wheel. And those spikes are just for show, those will like, I think it says in one Pokédex entry that he can like topple down trees with his trunk or something. He's really powerful. And imagine something that powerful with a mega evolution. That is such a cool idea. Ah, oh, wow, um. He's from Generation 2, one of my, uh, in the middle for me, for the generations. Not my favourite, but not my least favourite. And out of all the Pokemon, he has a lot of respect throughout the community, and I, th I can understand why. This guy is really, really cool. And I think he needs a Mega Evolution, so, um, younger uh, players of Pokemon can experience Donphan. I have used Donphan on my team before. 
when I was playing, um, I think it was Crystal. Yeah, I was playing Crystal. No, 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 it was, I can't remember because I have been playing Crystal. Yeah, I used it on my black and, uh, I was using it on my heart gold team. And this, like, sweet the Elite Four. It was so powerful. This Dawn Femme, my Dawn Femme. Um, sadly, uh, due to an accident, that save um, file got corrupt and I had to delete it. Very sadly, because I didn't have a chance to transfer it to black. But hopefully next time I play it, I will uh, have another Dawn Femme. And, yeah, I'm hoping to see a Mega Revolution for one of my favourites. Number seven! Yeah! Number seven is Porygon Z. Why is Porygon Z in here? Just so it can have a chance of being in the anime again. You're probably wondering, what do I mean by being in the anime again? Well, if you didn't, if you didn't know, you probably don't know much about the anime, but, um, in Japan they showed an episode of Pokemon called Electric Soldier Porygon, which at some, at a certain point, caused uh, a lot of seizures and it was banned from then on and from that point on Porygon the uh, because most of the time it's one Pokemon per episode that was the main Pokemon in that episode Porygon has never been seen in the anime again even though it wasn't Porygon's fault it was technically Pinkachu's fault he shot the Electro Beam to, that destroyed the rockets that caused the see uh, that caused the um, weird effects, uh, the light effects that cause seizures. So technically Pinkachu should be banned from the anime. But I think it's very sad that Porygon isn't, hasn't been in the anime so far just because he's such a cool concept being a Pokemon literally made by a computer. Uh, and also kind of almost describing Pokemon because the first generation there was Porygon and in his Pokedex entry it said, This is a Porygon. We were going to release it later, but Team Rocket got a hold of it. Uh, uh, this is a undeveloped version. But when you evolve a po Porygon, he evolves into Porygon 2, which is actually what they were going to release. And Porygon 2 was in the second generation. Meaning that the second generation... Uh, and um, it has been stated a few times by Game Freak that the second generation is really what they pictured and what they wanted the first generation to be, but because of the limitations of the hardware at the time, they had to make Generation 1, which was such a big success, um, so they could make Generation 2. And in Generation 4, Porygon Z came around, which was, people, uh, this is a modded version of the game, because in this point, people were modding Pokemon and... Uh, making mods on the internet and stuff like that for it, and I think it's a very cool concept. And maybe the Mega Revolution it could be uh, like even more mo uh, like people fans of the mod modding the mod and stuff like that ah, because that does happen sometimes. But I don't know. I because um, the next series of the anime they have in the posters have a Mega Blaziken, so it means they will have Mega Revolutions. So I kind of want Porygon to get one just because it might give him a slimmer of a chance of being in the in the anime. And I don't watch the anime as regularly as usual. I usually wait until the season's over then watch it all. But I will watch the episode the day it comes out because that's just amazing to see Porygon back. So yeah, um also I just think Porygon's a very underrated Pokemon as well. Have you seen his shiny? His shiny looks Gorgeous. I found a I actually have a shiny in my back too. It, it was a hacked shiny, but uh, I didn't hack it before anyone said I got it off a trade. I was looking for a Porygon Z on a trade. Okay, didn't hack the game. Don't calm calm down. Not my fault. I did delete it, but it was a shiny Porygon, and oh my god, was it powerful! I did get rid of it though. So don't be so booze. So, yeah, I want Porygon back so we can just see it again. Number six! You aren't expecting this, Gen 1ers. Number six is the ice cream cone, also known as van Vanillax. Vanillax. But I'm really just going to be calling it ice cream cone because 
Nobody cares what the name is. This Pokemon is so hated by people. And you know what? I kind of don't understand why people. This guy is such a good fighter. Used him on my black and white play, uh, my, uh, my white pay playthrough the second time. Second time I played white all the way through. This guy was my main ice type. This is one of my favorite pure ice types. And plus, uh, this is the first Pokemon I've ever guessed. When they announced Generation 5, I was actually, um, still, still kind of like in the body of the, I was like about 10-ish, maybe 11, when they announced Black and White. Um, I, and I was thinking of ideas for Pokemon, and I thought ice cream! And then they made ice cream! I was ecstatic! I was so, that, that was so cool for me. <laughs> that, was, that felt so cool for me, even though somebody at Game Freak, uh, somebody at Game Freak USA thought of this, and before you go, oh, only Japanese should make it, maybe, maybe then we should maybe then we wouldn't have this. Well, we didn't, we wouldn't have got Go Look. And have you seen Go Look? Go Look is awesome. Uh, I would have put him on the list, but there's another Gen 5 Pokemon I want on here more. And again, only two from each generation. But yeah, this guy needs one, or at least uh, it can't have another evolution because it has got um, three stages of evolution. But it needs one. You know why? So people can start liking it for what it is. It's a good fighter, people. This helped me through um through the first phases of the Elite Four. When I got into the last phases, uh it wasn't as helpful, but it did it did freeze one of the uh poke uh, one of the last uh, one of N's Pokemon. I can't remember which, but that was it was his last Pokemon he had and he froze it for me. It was the most useful thing ever and I I am in debt to him. So this is that's also why I'm doing this, so I can finally be out of debt from this ice cream coat. But also, if you ever tried playing with this guy, he's not the worst wise type ever. He has not got the worst design. Just look at Mark and Garbodor, and yeah, just look at those two. They're piles of blur. Mark is piles of blur, and Garbodor is literally a bag. But don't pick, uh, and I know loads of people pick on Garbodor. For some reason, not many people pick on Mark, and I just feel a bit sad about that because it's Mark. And why do you want like Mark? Why do people like Mark? I know it's nostalgia and things, but I, it's, it's Mark. Before you ask, I did actually use Mark on my last um, on my Black and White Two playthrough the first time. He was so useful, but it's just like why. I don't you complain about Muck's design. You complain about Garbodor's. I'm okay with that. But don't complain about the ice cream. Complain when you actually play the games and use him. Uh, sorry about that. I just scratched my mic. Um, Garbodor, not that great of a Pokemon. I did lose. Uh, I did try and use it. Didn't work out. Vanillax, great Pokemon. Needs a Mega Evolution so people can start seeing how cool he is. Number five! Again. Number five is my low tech. You're probably going, girly Pokemon alert, girly Pokemon alert. How could you pick this one? There's so many more cool, manly Pokemon from Gen 3. Well, let me just rebuttal that saying, at least I didn't pick Love Disc. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, Milotic, uh, it may look girly, but seriously, have you ever tried and used the Milotic? Uh, it is good for contests, yes, but try and use it in battle. It is so powerful. This thing is really, really, really strong. And I know I did complain about legendaries getting, like, Mega Evolutions and stuff. But personally, I wouldn't mind it for the Milotech because it has got a few disadvantages. And I just want to see this Pokemon back because this Pokemon is really cool. And it should be used more often. I remember fighting um, Lance, I can't remember his name, at the end of um, Emerald. That was so hard because I picked the fire type starter and yeah. 
and I didn't have a path to go against water types, so yeah. You know, because I don't like water types that much. I don't actually like water types that much. I think they're cool, yeah, but something about the design and I don't know. It's just, this could all change though, because I am planning on using Froki um, instead of instead of uh, Fire type um, next gen, but yeah. Off that subject, uh, why I want my low tech to get a Mega Revolution? I just want to see it back. I want to see people using it again. I want to see this thing get powerfuler, and I, maybe even a normal evolution for it, because it is only two evolutions from a really ugly looking fish to this, maybe even longer. Don't do that, actually. But yeah, I want Milo Tick to get one, just because I think it will be a cool idea, and could you imagine what it would look like? Number four! Number four is Dusk Noir. You're probably wondering why I want Dusk Noir to get a Mega Revolution. Because this guy looks awesome. Great, and also has a great concept being a Pokemon that leads you into the spirit world who's going to kill you. Yay! Death! All of them evil, um, because uh, the anime did show that, but. Most of them do want to eat your soul! Rawr! But yeah, um, also just, you can see, you're looking at it on screen, but look at that design! Imagine that with spikes, and uh, more, uh, some teeth, maybe the eye glowing different colour. That's a mega evolution there. Also, I just, uh, I, also I just wonder what it would be, just, it would be more powerful, and this, uh, this guy, um, I have used him before, like my third playthrough of Emerald, I think. But I have used um, no, 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 not Emerald, per, um, Diamond. My third playthrough of Diamond. Why did I say Emerald? He's not even in Emerald. My third playthrough of Diamond. I used this guy. He was he killed everything. He literally did. Well, he does kill. He, that's his Pokedex entry, so I would like to see this guy come back for more people to see him and more people to go, Hey, it's that guy with the eye and the mouth and the. And oh, he mega evolves! I am a demon going to eat your soul! Sorry, I just knocked my mic. <laughs> But yeah, I think this guy will be a very, very cool Pokemon to get a Mega Evolution. And yeah, that's about um, it for why I want this guy to have a Mega Evolution. I know that's not much other than he looks cool and he's a good fighter. But that's really... Isn't that all Pokemon's about, really? It's just like, he looks cool and got a good design. That means he's a good Pokemon. So that's why you should get Mega Evolution. Number three. Number three is Snorlax. Surprised? Um, you probably aren't, but personally, I was. I was trying to keep uh, my favorite Pokemon off the list. That's why you will not be seeing Rotom, even though it's my favorite Pokemon. And also, Rotom really wouldn't work with it already having a load of forms. It c it could work, maybe one for each form, but probably wouldn't. But as I was looking through Generation 1, I saw Snorlax and I just automatically thought, I have a good idea for him. Maybe when the Mega Evolution happens, he can gain a lot of, he can shrink down, he could be skinnier, and he could lose a lot of weight, and he could become speedier. That would actually be a cool idea for Snorlax, his Mega Evolution. Because he's already quite, um, he's not that slow. So, he could become skinny and then just go really fast. Like, Speedy Gonzales or Sonic the Hedgehog. I wonder who would win in a race. Speedy Gonzales or Sonic the Hedgehog. Hmm. Tangent over. But yeah, it would be a cool idea, wouldn't it? Think about it. But also, I just, um, Snorlax is one of my personal favourites. Again, I was trying to keep my favourites off the list. But really couldn't for Snorlax. He's just he's so awesome. Munchlax is so awesome as well. 
And personally, I would like to see an actual full evolution of Snorlax, but a Mega Evolution would definitely be very, very cool. Plus, Game Freak, can you please have a Snorlax blocking the path in Generation 6? That would look really cool, wouldn't it, guys? Wouldn't it? Somebody please agree with me or I'll kill myself with a rusty spork. But yeah, um, again, one of my favourites, I have a good idea for, uh, it's a Mega Evolution. And you got to admit, e e even though it's blocking your path, Snorlax is really, really cool. Number two! Number two is High Drygon. Oh my god, people, this guy is awesome! Just look at him. He has three heads, and two of those heads are on his hands. Hand heads. I got a Mega Revolution for you guys. Instead of uh, also with his hand, uh, his hand heads, you get a feet heads, tail heads, wing heads. All of him is just a giant head. Okay, that is a bad, bad idea. But just look at this guy and. This is, is, I have used him, he was my main man during the Elite Four in my Black and White 2 second, uh, third playthrough. Main man, so powerful, plowed through them. They were just like, it was just like, they were little houses and High Dragon was a bulldozer. <laughs> Crush all the houses, also known as the Elite Four. <laughs> Sounded like kind of like a penguin there for some reason, but yeah, this guy is so awesome, and he really deserves a Mega Evolution because I don't think many people give him as much credit as he deserves for how awesome he is. Awesome. Final words about this guy: why he deserves a Mega Evolution? He is. Awesome! And the moment you've all been waiting for, number one! Yeah! I know this has no order, but I had to do something special for number one. I couldn't end with something like Weezing. I had to start with Houndoom! People have been wanting this guy to have an evolution for such a long time. So do I. This guy is awesome. He has helped me in so many playthroughs. I have used him three times overall. First and second playthrough of Heart Gold. And my uh, first playthrough of the original Silver. This guy has been with me so many times. Houndoom is one of my favourite legendaries. Uh, uh, not legendaries. He's not a legendary. Again, no legendaries. You can kind of argue um, Snorlax, but no. This guy is one of my favourite fire types and one of my favourite dark types. Two of my favourite types there. Fire is about my second and dark is around my fifth or fourth. That means something awesome. So yeah, um I want this guy to have an evolution, yes, but I want this guy to have a mega evolution as well. And Absol got one and he is one of my he's probably my favourite dark type. So why can't my uh, my second favourite dark type get one as well? Give him three heads and he's like Devil Dog. You could just call him Demon Dog or Doom Dog or I can't, uh, you can't say Devil because it's, again, it's a 3 plus game. Or 7 plus because of the um, 3D. I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah, the, two, the 2DS is coming out on the same day. Curse you 2DS. But still. Sorry, I hit my mic. Um, this guy looks awesome. This guy needs three heads. This guy needs to be the best Pokemon ever. So give him a Mega Revolution so more people know about him. More people can respect him. Yeah. This guy is pure epicness. Okay, guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like rating if you're nice enough. And please leave in the comments what Pokemon you want to see get a Mega Evolution, what Pokemon you want to see get an Evolution, and all that stuff, and what version you're going to get of Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. And if it's already out, what starter did you choose? 
I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.